JJ's trying to wonder why I've not gone that way because there's one of these here and that's electric wire so we're not going that way up there I can see there's like a path to the right going up near the trees it's nice around here, I like that hill we saw that hill yesterday when we were going up the other side so I think there's a way through I think there's a way through here Jay JJ's trying to tell me that he's found some sticks go on then go on then well done, he likes throwing sticks sensory. There's one down there in front of him actually, look. Ooh. <sighs> there I see it. Yeah. So I've got problems with my left arm, as you all know. Go on there. It's like a part of a car or something down there. Then there's this here, I don't know what this is, nothing I don't think. A bit strange. We got buried in there. I don't know. Uh, I, I do like that hill though. That hill up there. And all the way across. I think it's beautiful. So up there to the right, there's a hilly walk. I don't fancy. Then there's somewhere right in the middle of them fields with a dog. And I think there's a, there's a way to go down there like that. But I think that comes all the way where we were yesterday. JJ is still throwing sticks. I've never been here before. What was here before? Probably nothing, just field. Yeah, I'm watching. Do you want me to stay here for a bit? Do you want to stay here for a bit? Yeah. We'll stay here for a bit. I'm still convinced there was some kind of a brook down here. There's bits that are quite hollow. JJ, you come in! I don't fancy going up there, but there is a way up. And then I think you go right across. I don't know what, there's someone there in the middle for. No idea. Right, we're going to go back up this way. That, by the way, is no car. I thought it was a car. I think it's like... I don't know. I, I don't know what it is, actually. Yeah. What is that? What is it? Like part of a tent maybe in the past, I don't know. No idea. Still, I think that's peculiar, that hole there, but anyway. It's starting to rain guys, so we're going to leave it for today. But we have another little walk around here. Beautiful landscape nearby. Just been thinking, really, uh, someone needs to come and do some litter picking around here. If I had a bag, I'd do it now. You know what I mean? Keep Britain tidy, man. Always. We've been down here before. And last time we found the rails at the other side, but we didn't do a video, so we're doing a little video today. So we're going down here. So on the left hand side would have been the pit tip, I believe. On the right and on the left hand side as well at the top, there's like a Well when I was there it'd been raining, but there's like a hut up there, I believe, where you can sit. And the railway line, well, went down here guys, as you know. We've done a previous video of the area, but today we're focusing on this little part of it. This lane we're on, and we're going out there and see where else it takes you. Apparently somewhere around here, can you see where there's a little like, there's a little pipe here, like some water comes out of it, like a miniature culvert just here. Can you see? I've always wondered what that is, where does that go? Is that some kind of a brook? Don't know. Anybody? I'm going to carry on down this way. Don't know what it is. It's quite hollow in there. No idea. I thought it was for the river, but it's not. Come on, Jay. Let's carry on. Unless someone sleeps there. I don't know. Probably be warm in there. We're well, not warm, but better than being nowhere. But that's the old railway lines. Give you another little look at it today. While we're here, we already had it on the previous video, obviously, from the area. On a previous video I did down here, I did a little edit because I fell over a fence and then I put a little edit emoji gif thing of someone falling down some steps. I don't know if you've ever seen that. That was one of the first ones I did around here. So I did uh, a two part series, Summit Pit and Kings Mill Reservoir. I'm just curious to know, was there a river or a brook here or is this just... Well it wasn't here the railway. This is man-made.
line obviously went along here on the right hand side there's not that many um, lines down here but there is a few more nearer to the road is it Emma Way Penny Emma Way or something like that I don't even know why that's called like that is that after a certain person maybe I don't know but uh, you'll see a little bit more of the railway so there's a bit more track bed that's still about just behind here somewhere that could have been the post I fell over I can't remember there's another little route there let's carry on down here there's definitely more down here I don't know what that is in front of us for me it looks like an animal but I think it's a bit of wood so the trap bed carried on down here to the right hand side you can't see it but there is a little bit at the end that will show you we're gonna go on to the side up that way you can go but we're not going uphill now uh, we're staying on the flat yeah it's just bark oh dear, that scared me I thought it was an animal from over there um, still can't see the track bed but there is a little bit I'll show you is, like a, is there a stopper thing here I'm not sure I think that post belonged to the railways I think I found a little bit more there can you see on the right hand side behind the trees just down here there's a bit more and then this bit across the road so we've just come from there this is the old trap bed right here you can see a bit of the rail can you see just there guys a bit of the old rail so let's see where it used to go so it used to go down here somewhere let's go and have a look well we can't see where the trap bed went but I believe there's a way out this way so there's the edge on that side but that's nothing to do with it I don't think I think literally this has been tarmacked over it yeah definitely there's a way through here on the left I wonder what that field was on the right before did maybe the track bed carry on down here I don't know guys anybody maybe it carried on all the way down from there through here what do you think let me know if you know we're going to take this route but we pretty much think that the rail the track went along there but we're going to go around to see what we find if we've never been this way i could be wrong but i reckon that'll be a factory of some sort we find what looks like an old little bridge down here but i can't quite see it it's just underneath here and maybe a bit of no that's another factory jay yeah, strange that little bridge down there we just spotted. Well, I've never been here before and got a clue where I am. There's a little path that goes that way, comes out down there, and then there's this one that goes over the bridge. We'll have to see what Joe wants to do, under or over. JJ, shall we go over the bridge or under? Over. You like going up bridges, he does. Where does this take us then? I'm gonna go and have a look here. Where Lin Lindy's Mill, I think it's called. But this area here, I wonder what it was in the past. We lost the railway, we think it went down there somewhere, but it's all cordoned off. <coughs> I'm not too sure what road this is, but we're over it. And we're going toward Lindy's Mill, Lindy's Mill, something like that. There was some good. Uh, Christmas decorations around here but I was never here I never got here I ended up at the Whippy Wimpy estate something like that it's just there guys just behind here Lindley's Mill I believe his name was James James Lindley or Lind Lindy yeah, Lindy. Yeah, I think he's telling me off because I'm doing another video, but it says there, the railway in. Was there a railway around here? I know there was one down there near sort of lawn, but was there one around here? I mean, why is this here like this? And it does look an old building, doesn't it? It looks a little bit like the one near, well, not near, yeah, near the bus station in Mansfield. Well, guys, this is officially the beginning of the Skegby Trail, but we're obviously in Sutton. I'm wondering if that part of the walk as well was part of the old station i'm not sure definitely on the left hand side we're going to carry on walking down here a little bit 
gonna come out near Asda petrol station. Well, oh, someone's gone through there, I don't want to go through there, but oh, it'll be interesting what we can find through there. That's the old station there. Don't know. Maybe there's some railway relics down there. Anybody? Didn't know you could go down there. Just found a little cut through. So as just behind us there, and that's where we found that little gap there. Here's a nice school on the right hand side, nice whole building. And I believe the rest of the Skegby Trail goes along there. We're going to take a little bit of it, not a lot obviously. I'm just scouting now this area. Oh, here we go. There's a motorbike coming. And I think there on the other side is where the rest of the Skegby Trail is. So we're going to see, so next time when I come by by, I know where I'm going. We can't get across this way. I've been told you have to come down this road here and then at the bottom of here. Anyone know what this was? <laughs> right, so I've definitely been told it's down here to the right somewhere. There's a trail that goes off to the right, which is towards Skegby. Yeah, there's no cars coming. There's no cars coming here. We can walk on the road here. We have no idea where we are. Bishop Street. You tell me. I'm wondering if this bit here of... Yeah. I wonder what that field is, do you? I reckon the field was part of the railway. DJ's singing. Yeah, 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 yo. Up the football, here we go. He likes it when I sing that. Are, are Forrest going to win tomorrow? No. No? Thanks. No. He said no. <laughs> Houses. We're doing new houses there. Yeah. Go down then. So we found the beginning. Well, not the beginning because we've already been on the beginning, but we found part of the Skegby Trail here where it begins. Uh, so we're going to have a little walk and then come back again. Yes, yes, yes. So th this is the beginning of the Skegby Trail. Yes, yes. That part that I saw once when I was driving my car. Well, not my car, my instructor's car. wonder what this is here. Anybody? Looking an old. I reckon an old water tower or something. So yeah, we'll have to come here by bike now that I know where it is. Is it possible then where we're walking was one of the old railway lines that went to uh, Plesley Pit? Because look, we're seeing a bit of uh, erosion on the side, so quite possibly this is, look, here as well. I say erosion, it's sandstone or limestone, and I always get them confused. One of them two, anyway. We've still got a bit of light. We've noticed another massive housing estate on the left-hand side, absolutely huge down here, which is a shame to see, really is. Absolutely huge part of land here on the left-hand side. That's really bad. I'm surprised of that. Wonder what that is then over there. Just noticed down here, like a little culvert. I bet you there's a culvert under there. Just on the side of here where we are, on the Skegby Trail. But yeah, that looks like a little hey, culvert down there. Yeah. Wonder if some river down there then. Oh, that made me jump, I just spotted some seats there as well. But there's definitely like a little culvert under there. So yeah, I can definitely see some little brook or little river. I reckon it's a brook, I'm not sure what it is. And so there's that estate, I don't know what they're doing there. And then there's a little brook down here on the left hand side. That looks pretty along here actually. We We've come to a bit here where there's a few different ways. There's one left here, there's one straight on, and one up there, up hillway. This one's throwing sticks again. Nearly hit daddy one of them. Uh, say goodbye, just having a look on that field. We've decided we're going to go down the other side today, where the field is, lighter, and I believe that that is where Skegby Bottoms is. There's a uh, Blidworth Bottoms I've been to. It's like an area with a lot of woodland, and uh, normally it's got a little brook or something through the middle of it, I believe. This one definitely does. I just haven't worked out yet what brook it is. On the other side of this big field, and... Uh, new development they're doing 
this Quarrydale school just to get your uh, perspective so you know where you are. There's definitely a bird nesting up there. And we're just going towards another giddy end of the area now we're here. We're going towards the Skegby Bottoms here on the left somewhere. Just a little add to what we were doing. We can hear some water, which I believe is this brook again. Shall we just call it the Skegby Brook? We're at a place called Skegby Bottoms today. And uh, it's been quite a long walk to get here. But we do walk a lot. Like my dad did. Happy birthday to your dad, by the way. Rest in peace and uh, happy birthday in heaven. What do we have here then? I don't think we can get out that way. That's one thing for sure, but we'll have a look. That's that estate on the left hand side they're doing. There's the water coming through there. And then where does it go down here? Is this Skegby Bottoms then? This might be Skegby Bottoms just here. Cool little place. Yeah, this is Skegby Bottoms, look. It's beautiful down here. Judge, I'm going to help you. One minute. Yeah, Skegby Bottoms. Cool little place. Look at it. So what was down here then? Because we've got a we've got a building to the right. Yeah. Well, I can see there's water all the way over that side as well, like a little lake there. But this is a cool little find. I've never been here before. Can anyone tell me what it is or was?